Illinois at Oregon. Oregon's favored in this game by 21 and a half points. Now, it took 12 years since the last time that my Oregon Ducks were the AP number one team in the country, and that was under Chip Kelly. And to do it again under Dan Lanning, oh, oh, it's a very special moment. And I don't love that it had to go through a Texas loss because it should have been the last week after the Ohio State game. So now, Oregon, I'm telling you right now, they're going to need to go out and defend a ranking that journalists actually back them into instead of putting them there where they rightfully belong. And I'm not trying to be greedy in this situation, but Heisman trophies and national championships are things that turn you into a blue blood. Oregon already has one national championship, and this is an opportunity for Dylan Gabriel to cement himself in that Heisman conversation with Cam Ward and uh, Ashton Jinty, which are the number one and number two guys in the Heisman trophy race right now. So, Gabriel's going to need to take on a tough Illinois defense because this defense is tough. They have absolutely shut down opponents and done a really good job. And Brett Bielema has been, a uh, after his initial year blaming the players, he has gotten the players in there that he wants, and he is coaching them up. So he deserves a big hand clap there. And that means that Dylan Gabriel is going to have to outshine a quarterback on the other side that's been the most improved quarterback in all of college football, and that's in Luke Altmaier, because his glow up has been ridiculous. And he has 15 touchdowns to only one interception, and the real catalyst of this Illinois offense is the same as any other Brett Bielema coach team. It is the running game. Now, in Illinois' six wins this year, they averaged 165 yards on four and a half yards per carry on the ground. And in their one loss, that Penn State game, Penn State held them to 34 yards on 32 attempts. Now, I like Oregon's chances in this game, not only to win, but to cover if they can force Luke Altmaier to be the one to beat them. But if that Illinois running game, if it gets going, it is going to limit Oregon's offensive possessions and make this a very, very close game, which obviously Oregon Duck fans have no appetite for at this point in time. Now, I know that 21 and a half is a very large spread between two teams that only have one combined loss. But Oregon's offense isn't slowing down for anybody. If it didn't slow down for Ohio State, the best defense in the country, it certainly won't be slowing down for Illinois. So this spread just comes about whether Illinois can actually keep up offensively. Now, Illinois, though, to their credit, is having an impressive year on offense. They're in the top 25 for the fifth consecutive week for a reason. If you follow me, you know how impressed I've been with the growth of Luke Altmaier. Now, he came into the season with 16 touchdown passes and 13 interceptions. And to be this year, 15-1, to one, bro, that is absolutely incredible. And he's going to need to be the best version of himself because Oregon is going to load up to stop that running game and then the rely on their cornerbacks like Muhammad and the rest of the crew in the back end to be able to stop those Illinois wide receivers. Because I believe that the Ducks are going to sell out the same way that Penn State did. Shut down the running game and make Altmaier beat them. Because as good as Altmaier has been, look at the difference between the six games and they've won and what they've lost. It is all about this running game. And I like Luke Altmaier, but not enough to think that he can cover on his own if the Ducks shut down that running game. So give me the Ducks minus 21 and a half.